Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Carpedia Show. Um, I was reading an interesting article on Jalopnik. Um, it's one of my favorite uh, places to read cars and car news. Um, great writers. <clears throat> and believe it or not, the, uh, the Dodge Challenger um, has a younger demographic than both the Camaro and the Mustang. But this is the kicker. The average Challenger owner, this is the new car sales, not used car sales, is 51 years old, which is below that of the national average for new car sales. The actual average new car buyer currently in America is actually 53 years old. And coincidentally, both the Camaro and Mustang are actually, their average owners are above that. I, I just thought that was a really funny article um, that, you know, uh, people, um, that that's the average. I really thought it would be, you know, the, the lower 40s, mid 40s or something like that. Um, and it's funny how, you know, people always laugh about the Corvette, how everybody's in their 50s who buy them and things like that. And I'm like, hey, the average new owner, now I know the average new car owner is uh, 53 years old, believe it or not. Um, they spend about, on average, $32,000 on the vehicle that they purchased. Um, I just wanted to um, basically talk about that, open up discussion about that. Um, do you know anybody uh, who recently purchased one or has purchased one around that age? Uh, almost everybody I know driving those vehicles are, are a lot younger than 51. Um, I mean, whenever you get into like the special edition demons, I've never seen nobody out a full set of gray hair um, and a demon but as far as a scat pack and heavy um, including all the base models not including rental cars they've all been um, you know in their early 30s late 30s maybe early 40s at that um, but I didn't know that the average age um, you know for new cars is 53 I mean did you guys know that uh, tell me what you think in the comments below do you or anybody you know like I said, recently purchased one, are they around that age? Um, and this goes for the Camaro and uh, the Mustang too. Um, I usually see younger people driving them. You know, as far as the newer ones. I haven't really seen uh, too many older people driving them. But in a way, it does kind of make sense that the uh, Challenger does have the youngest demographic. Um, FCA, historically, even before um, you know Fiat bought Chrysler, historically, they do give out the best um, in terms of deals, rebates, and things like that when you do go to purchase a vehicle. Um, so, I mean, I do believe that. I remember that back in the days. Um, you know, basically, as long as you had a post, you could qualify for a Dodge. That's how it kind of was back then. Um, it's interesting to see that even though you know, the, the Challenger's out selling the Camaro is on its way to sell more than the, um, you know, on its way to sell as much as the Mustang, believe it or not. Um, so tell me what you guys think about it. Do you think it's because it's an old vehicle that is large and comfortable? Is that the main reason why older people buy it? Um, I mean, cause, you know, it is the only real muscle car left. You know, you really can seat four people in the Challenger. I mean, that's one thing you give to it. I mean, even has a center armrest in the back and <laughs> AC vents for the backseat passenger. So uh, it's, it's, it's a large car. It's comfortable, has a huge trunk. It's cheap, it's affordable, and I know a lot of people say, oh, well, it's outdated, it doesn't handle that good. Uh, the performance versions on the track, they're not that much, that far behind compared to, you know, Camaro Mustang. Um, of course, those ultimately are a little bit sharper, break a little bit better, more composed when it comes to handling, but in the grand scheme of things, anybody buying those cars, they're not going to no open track, I'm sorry. Um, these cars are meant to stare at the guy next to you and get from one side of the light to the other light as quickly as possible. That's what a muscle car is. Uh, always has been. I guess, you know, Ford and, and um, Chevy kind of lost their way making sports cars. I mean, you can look at the sales now, the around how far down they are. I really think it's, it's attributed to um, the fact that the car got smaller um, as well as, you know, they never did fix the blind spot issue. Um, but tell me what you guys think about that, about the average car on a being 53 and people who buy challengers are younger um, but like I said th this data only shows what the cars registered in um, 
I do believe that some of this uh, data is skewed off because say for instance, you know, a younger kid, uh, richer parents or something like that, um, they, he wanted a challenger. First thing he would do is, uh, you know, ask daddy for it. He'll go down there and put in his name. So maybe that's why, um, you know, it's, you know, on average a little bit less than the other. But um, tell me what you guys think below in the comments. I'd like to discuss that. Appreciate you guys checking in. Um, like I said, appreciate the love and support you guys give me. And check back tomorrow. I'll have some more news.